There is magic in the air, the earth, and in water. But this ancient power has been forgotten by many in these lands. And the Celtic people are no longer under its protection. Saxon hordes slaughtered the brave Celts. But it is not only this Saxon enemy that defeats them. For treachery lurks at the heart of their resistance. I hope. He's everything I was told he would be. How could this be? A mark of the two adorn. The divine race. A gift from them. Nothing more. Nothing to fear. Will you now reveal the father? I have told you. He has none. He came to me as his name did, in a dream full of hope. And what is this name? His name is Myrden. secret you swear not to tell I swear not even my own mother come on then <laughs> you would not strike a lady the gods of the wind are my son <laughs> from the forest. Make haste. Why is my that forest forbidden? Because it is held sacred for the two adorn. No man is permitted to enter. The forest will not let him in or out alive. Tell me about the two adorn. <laughs> Well, long ago, the gods of light and the gods of darkness fought a fierce war. The battles took place in the world of men, in these lands, perhaps on the very ground we walk upon now. A divine race of people. Tudor! <laughs> the Tudorn fought alongside the gods of light. The Tudorn drove the dark gods into the underworld and made these lands safe. For the fight will never be done. The battle between light and darkness continues in the underworld to this very day. And you, Myrden, 
You carry the mark of the two adult. They left this world to save us. So you must never forget how precious life is. It's your special responsibility. What is this? It's the king. He's responded to our calls for help. He sent an envoy to hear us. It is a powerful trumpet. My aim is to go to your mother. Wait! Adam, you must go home and wait until I return. I promise one day you will understand. But now you must go. Now, go! Your crops fail. So you beg for the king's help. And yeah, you do not help yourselves. Where is your altar? Where are your sacred stones? From where do you worship? You have forgotten the old ways. You have failed your God. This is why you pay the price. Starvation is a light punishment for your lack of faith. We follow the gods, my druid. You must appease your gods. And only one thing will satisfy them now. Sacrifice. Human sacrifice, one of your own. But all life is precious. Who speaks? All, all life is precious. That is what the Tuadon taught us. The Tuadon. You speak of nothing but a dead race. Would you follow their teachings over mine? Of course he will not, my druid. The boy merely speaks out of turn. Come here, child. Do not fear me. Come. What's this? It is a mark of the two dogs. Who branded you, sir? Tell me now. We don't brand children here. He was born with it. He's been branded with it. There are those among you who would worship the two dogs. This is the rot that keeps you from your true gods. Maiden! Well. You shall learn the folly of this. We have your sacrifice! No, you don't understand! Please, please, please! You cannot. He is only a child. Don't please. Your father may be a chieftain, but you are still a bastard son, nothing more. Cross the king's druid again, and I will butcher you. Please, not him! Please! You cannot escape your destiny, boy. Let me perform the sacrifice. 
my druid. I do not trust him. Very well. You may prove your worth to me, bastard son of Cornwall. You die today, so your village may live on. Bite my hand. Bite my hand now. to save him. No, he's dead anyway. No one survives a while now.
succeed if you can. He summoned the elements, that boy. He would have made a powerful sacrifice for our cause. Instead, the forest has taken him. You should not have let him escape you. It was Arthur. He meant to free the boy. Let me kill him. Now, in the boy's stead. No. His father is friend to the king. Arthur shall pay for what he has done, but we shall bide our time. We have more villages to visit, much work to do. He wanted so badly to save the boy. Let us take his mind off this dark memory. Let's get him drunk. We can't get him drunk, he's just a boy. And he can watch us getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Arthur! Arthur! A moment, friends. I'm sure the Saxons will wait for our brave commander. <laughs> <laughs> Speak quickly, Anion. The Saxon forces approach. Alberthor's men are at it again. You said to always tell you. Show me. But the Saxons, you said were... We're not just fighting the Saxons. Then, eh? Don't you know what happens to heathens? Abafal says we're to uh, sacrifice all Christians as soon as we find them. They mean to kill her. But you cannot challenge Abafal's men. The truth has too much power. We'll go back to camp. Yes. It's my turn. Older. <laughs> you won't need that. And yet you need a blade. If you must be armed, surely she can have her faith as a shield. We saved the king's druid. You cannot meddle. Return to battle. Can I not stay and watch your battle, brothers? that I may learn from your tactics. Two men to kill one woman, unless you count her unborn child as a combatant. A fair and even fight after all. You mock us. I do. And you are precisely as intelligent as you appear. You cannot arm us. We're other folks, men. Forward ear of this. <laughs> you are a Christian, then? Yes. The king's pagan druid thinks little of the new faith. And you? I think little of all faiths. Faith places too much emphasis on death. I value life. Will you please? My icon!
the last red dragon that plagued our lands. But they did not kill it. They tamed it to fight at their side with the beast in their midst. Their enemies fell and there was no one to challenge them. No more do we have dragons to defend us. So we stand alone to fight for our people, for their survival against a savage enemy. We preserved our way of life through Roman occupation. We shall not lose it now to these new intruders. So we will fight like dragons. We will face the enemy head on. We shall not cower nor hide. We shall take the fight to them this day. Attack shall be our defense. My king, we spoke of very different tactics. We spoke of luring them through the valley. We have spent days planning. Athel. Do not question your king. Reign of Pembroke commands the warriors under my standard. Only he may speak to me of tactics. Rain? Where is Rain? Rain fell in battle, my lord. Two months past. I was given the honor of his duties by you. You lie! It cannot be! It cannot be! Your king is tired. He must conserve his energy for the battle. He will follow his order. They outnumber us. We must follow our tactics as planned. Open assault is suicide! You have the order of your king. But our losses... We lose hundreds each day. We cannot... Yes. Their sacrifice may deplete our number in flesh, but in spirit, it makes our gods stronger. And winning the favor of the gods is the only way we can truly triumph. You have the command of your king. Bring the fight to the enemy head on. And no more talk of tactics. Unless you wish to prove yourself coward. The king is robbed of his wits. He sends us to our deaths. Not the king, Abathol. He has some dark purpose in this, mark me.
to the slaughter. We died by sex and sword, but it is you we have to blame. What say you? What say you? Is this the one who prevented the offering of the woman? Yes. Very well. Our fallen warriors honor the gods with their sacrifice. Since you did not see fit to join their tribute in battle, you may follow them now. You die here. What? He's the son of Kador. Your father became friend of the king a long time ago, no? I wonder if the king recalls such a distant memory. Kill him, Lucan. Make an offering of him. No, you cannot. You cannot kill him. He has saved the king's life in battle. My king, has Arthur not saved your life in battle this day? Yes, I think he has, yes. And you will not see him made a sacrifice, my king. Sacrifice? No, there will be no sacrifice here. My most worthy king. This man is treacherous. He challenges my authority, and any challenge to my authority is a challenge to yours. Do you challenge Arbatol? I do. Where are your father's lands? Cornwall. You're a friend to my father. Then return there. My king. You are banished. It is that or your death. Choose as you will. I thank you for your service, and I release you from it. I cannot have division in my ranks. Abatol, prepare to leave. Arwind, do not dally. Ensure the other wards leave safely. We retreat to the stronghold of Dinas Averon. Oh, my lord. It's that Cornish bastard's fault, my druid, and his woman. Draw no undue attention. Let him feel the pain of his banishment for a day. Then hunt him down and butcher him. I'll watch the meddlesome wench myself. Kunotokolu, Salus Kolo, Arakiri. Kunotokolu, Salus Kolo, We will seek out the king. We'll convince him to change his mind. We are all away from our homelands. Vortigan is a father to us, and he is our king. Right or wrong, when he speaks, we must obey. But does he speak? The man we follow now is not the king I followed before. He wears the crown. My loyalty to that is absolute, as should yours be. We would none of us be the men we are without him. I will see you again, brothers. When you defeat the invaders, we will drink at my father's table.
If you were as late to your battles as you are to our meetings, these lands would already be overrun with Saxons. I am so sorry. You do not deserve to suffer what the king has done. Hush. It matters not. It was a gift in disguise. Now I am free to stop Abathon. You have obsessed about the Druid all these years. He is a cruel man, bent on sacrifice. But he is not the enemy we must defeat. He worships a dark icon, the dark gods. He prays for our defeat in the Saxon triumph. He is in league with the enemy. No. I know it to be true. How? I spied on him in his tent. You did what? And you're not in trouble enough already. Our people are the ones who are in trouble, but I have the answer. Remember the boy that I spoke of, the one with the mark? You said why now Forrest took him. No, he lives still. He is the only one that I have ever seen the Druid fear. This boy had powers over nature. But if we can find him, he will help us stop Abathol, I know it. We must journey to the village, to Wynar. I will send word to my uncle. He owns lands near Wynar. He will see you safe passage. No, we cannot tell anyone of this. See me safe passage. You have no pack. Where are your things? I cannot come with you. The king ails. I must remain at his side. And if what you say has truth, and surely we cannot leave him at the mercy of Abathol. No, be safe. I am a ward of the king and of noble blood. There is yet a limit to Abathol's reach. And I will have the sword of three warriors. Owen, Brion and Phelon have pledged to watch over me in your absence. Would that I have met a timid woman. I should never feel this fear. Would that I had fallen in love with a rich, fat chieftain. Then never would he run off on such dangerous adventures. Jenny safe to do in Saffron. Watch for Abathol and his puppet Lucan. I will return to you. while some amongst friends. Lucan has work to do elsewhere.
Lamar's head. I think our friend is not going home to Cornwall after all. Then we will go back. Find him. Excuse me, I'm sorry to trouble you. I. Excuse me, I seek a boy. Well, a man now. He never came out of the woods, that boy. Died in there. I had many before him. Only a foolish man dares venture into Wynard. He's ventured into why now. If he has gone in, then our work is done for us. But we must be sure. And if he is dead, we have to find another offering. Very good. Have you bought me? Show me where he is. Come on. Show me. Come on. Show me. Come on. What you see if you bring me this bird to stop fighting me? Oh, 
What is it? I come to tend your wound. It, it heals slowly. You are a ward of my court. It is not your task to deal with blood. I ask that I may do it, my king. Complex thing, battle. This figure represents God of my warriors. Is there something else I should remember about? Do you remember that I made it when first I came into your care? Of course. Of course. You are... Oh, winner. I am Owen. Owen, of course you are. Owen, your father is my cousin. <laughs> I look forward to feasting with him when our lads are free again. My father's dead. It takes a clever girl to trap a king. Perhaps I've become too easy to trip. I survived the blow, but I fear I left my wits on the battlefield. Tell me, Alwyn. Is it as obvious to all as it is to you that I ail? To some. To those who care about their king. I matter not. Do you not think that I know that I fail them? But I have no heir. So I cannot relinquish the throne no matter how much I ail. Not until this war is won. I'm already going to leave my people without a king. I cannot leave them without a kingdom too. The druid helps you. <laughs> Abatel protects my troops from my forgetfulness. I hear he practices a dark magic. I have no time for magic. But if it is dark. What do you speak of? Who are you? What are you doing here in my chambers? Get out, child, and do not intrude so again. Oh, my druid.
se troma mina. Nu på rosta hajmila mitt. Först på dra fläktrarna mina. Nu på rosta hajmila mitt. I didn't understand you, friend. I didn't understand your words. First, you intrude on my dreams. Now, you invade my home. Not your dreams, your visions. You were a wizard. You do not know me. I do. You lived because of me. Many years ago in the village, I helped you escape with your life. You picked me on the hand a lot harder than I expected. I was spared by the two of Don. So I could be led here to learn their ways. You were merely an instrument they acted through. I am no man's instrument. The two of Don are not men. And neither am I, not anymore. But you are. So how did you pass through my forest? What it means on my own. A man who has no answers has no knowledge. So it was only luck. Leave my home and my forest. And hope your luck lasts until you reach Wynar's border. I shall leave. But you must come with me. I seek to vanquish the Druid who tried to kill you, who killed your mother. He prays to dark gods. He, 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 he works dark magic. He's leading the Celts to the slaughter. It matters not. But we shared the vision. I saw you. This cave shows me much of what happens across these lands. The action of one Druid is no more important than anything else. But this druid murdered your mother. Do you not seek revenge? Revenge is a weakness of men. I have already told you. I am no longer a man. You're so sure? If you're no longer a man, why are you so afraid? I do not fear. Men hide when they are scared. Fear keeps you here. I am preparing. Men may have forgotten about the eternal war between light and darkness. But the divine race who fight on in the underworld have not. They left their teachings in this cave and called me here to learn their magic so that one day I could be a champion of light in these lands as they once were. So that I could defeat the darkness in man's darkest hour. That time has yet to come. The cave has much to teach me. I will fight the darkness one day, but I am not yet ready. Ready? Not ready? What is this cave teaching you? We are never ready. The only way that we can reach our true potential is when we rise to the challenges that life throws to us. I will not be swayed. Warrior. There is a battle out there. Our people are dying in the thousands. This druid leads the Celts to slaughter. In the eons of time, one people does not matter. But they're your people! I don't have a people. Do not mistake my composure for tolerance. Go now, or I shall make you. I will save my people. Your friends are all dead. My life as a man taught me one thing you cannot save. People, there is no point. Perhaps now you see. I 
I should not have shown you that death without warning. I am sorry for your pain, even though I cannot feel it with you. It was pain as you feel now that led me to this place. I know. I saw it in your eyes when Abathor killed her. I shall lead you to the forest edge. I do not need your charity. I do not offer charity. I offer protection. Why not can render man limb from limb? However you came to defeat it before, the forest will not be beaten twice, I can assure you. will help our cause and perhaps it may also teach you not to intrude on the king and not to challenge me there is no one to protect you now friends were loyal, yes? Followed you with honor. Yes. And they would not want you to ache so for them. They followed the wrong man. I should never have been given that into my charge. I am no leader. I am the fourth son of a Cornish chief. That bastard son at that. I would have done well to keep my mouth shut and follow the truth to destruction. This brand of sorrow is for yourself as much for them. It is of no benefit but to fuel your guilt and lessen your will. Do not test me, wizard! You are weak. Oh, body. Come, you need food. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I'm no longer a man. There are some places the sun never reaches. It could not bloom. I am glad to see that you truly have powers, wizard. Tell me. Why do you see purpose in saving flowers and not people? Thousands die. Thousands more will fall. You can help me stop this. You must help me save the king from the grip of Abathor, I beg you. I will not leave this forest until I'm ready. Until I'm strong enough to fight the darkness. I'm sorry for your pain, warrior. But I cannot help you. Where did you steal this? Steal Where this. did you find it? Why do you Where? A swamp. A swamp? A marsh, a small bog, whichever you prefer. You found me through this, yes? It was the sword that opened my visions to you. 
and kept the forest at bay. Yes. So I have spoken to you. But you... You're just... I'm just... What, what am I? I thought I knew. But perhaps I don't know what you are after all. Like you they were. Said they sought a lone warrior, a rogue, they said. And when we couldn't help them, they sacrificed our village in the name of the King's Druid. This man, just like me, you see. Led by a giant of a man. It's you they saw. Look! Look what they've done to us! Luke, you brought this here, warrior. When you brought me here, wizard, come with me. Please. We must find someone. I found refuge. When I fled, it, it kept me safe. Safe? You've been safe. That is good. We have not made any. When you ran away, the king would not help us again. Our crops failed each year, and all we could do was go hungry. And when we suffered those hardships, I always thought of you. Thought of your power. I thought we'd made him were alive, he would help us. He would make the crops grow as he made the flowers bloom. I wept because I thought you were dead. And all the while you were hiding nearby. Did you watch us starve? What man does not show himself if he can help? My husband died this day. He fought the men who came here so that we might survive. It will be his death I mark this day for. Not your life. Be safe. Convince the king somehow. Make him see that he has fallen into Apathos' grip. How can 
I convince a mind that ails so? When my brother and I would fight as children, we would run to my father and ask him to settle our discord. We would clamour and shout for father's favour, but he would always say that if we had accusations, he would only hear them if there was some sign of the other's rascalry. Such a sign is a powerful thing. Perhaps if the king could hold the druid's guilt in his own hands. Evidence. They'll settle elsewhere. Of course they will. I need no reassurance, warrior. The light fails. I must camp away from here. The men you hunt in the pass this way again. I will stay with you. You mean to accompany me now? No. My forest slumbers at night. I will not disturb its rest. Then why not as lost as my game? You should make a fire. I am hunted, wizard. I need no beacon. Your cave has not taught you much about evading men. There are no men to evade him. Why not? The girl in the village, Maya. Did you love her once? I know little of love. Surely a man who can control the growth of a flower must be able to make love blossom. It is one thing to affect nature, but a human is a different matter. Only the most powerful sorcerer could control the mind of a man or woman. Do not mistake what you have found. I am no such sorcerer. And Abathol. He is powerful, yes. Then does he bewitch the king? Is it Abathol who weakens his memory? Even Abathol is not powerful enough to hold a man entranced. Not for as long as I have watched your king ail. It is these injuries that rob him of his wit, not the druid. And will you not help save a broken man from evil? To save more villages like yours? One king. A handful of villages, you really think this is man's greatest hour of need? The mark on your face, it reminds me of the claw of a dragon. It is merely the mark of the Tuadon. 
And if the two don't have marked you out as a dragon, the symbol of the Celts, then perhaps you aren't to be our champion yet. I just hope you're ready with other and all of us left. Skilekio Han Undalagon Vara. to leave. Go back to your cave, but please. Very well, I shall accompany you. You make a very persuasive argument. We shall return to Dinas Aferon to vanquish Abathol. A fair pact? Excellent! We must hurry! Wizard! strengthen, yet they do not advance. Perhaps a truce, coexistence, my king. The Saxons do not seek peace. They'll push us till we are driven into the sea or the earth. If they don't advance, we must. Attack is the best form of defense. Attack? Commit a thousand more warriors. Attack them head on. Tell me, wizard, what's our plan? How will you vanquish Abathol? I do not know. It is your quest I have joined. As it is my quest, I must admit that my only plan is the wizard Mirdin. Tell me plain, how will you defeat him? He fears you. I have seen it. He fears what I represent. I cannot say if he will fear me. And you really aren't sure if you can defeat him? I'm sure of nothing. Save that it is not only Abathol we must vanquish from Dina Saffron. Who else must we defeat? The king. We go to save the king. Strange that a man who desires so much to save the king should carry the sword of one who will take the throne from him. What do you speak? It is treason to even utter such words. Perhaps. But you wield the great sword Nuadu, a gift to the Tuadom from the gods of light themselves. Nuadu fought to defeat the darkness on these very lands before the great war descended to the underworld. It is said that when the time would come for the Tuadon to pass Nuadu back to the world of men, it would only speak to he who would become king of the Celts. You mock me, wizard. A bastard of Cornwall is no king and no leader. Do not speak of this again. If it pleases you, my king. If this is from the tour, Dom, then you can read these marks, no? I can, but I already know what it says. It speaks to the sword's original purpose, the reason it was hewn. Gert Afgoy or Drepagoy, made by gods to kill gods. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Cannot control the minds of men. He's blinded, not deafened. I see you lost. They're over here. I did not need a demonstration. It was a foolish thing to attempt, I apologize. Apologize later. Live first. catch indeed but they will not feed our families look at this one there's more meat on my scabbard I found them in the wood they were fleeing the king's warriors were they now when the boy are hunted they cannot learn who I am what are your names I am Maiden this is Arthur Born of Cornwall and banished from the king's army. We marched to Dinner Saffron to take the throne. Did you mean for me to lie? <laughs> I like you, boy. You're funny. You're lucky you're in my custody and not Lucan's. I am Orin. My niece, Alwyn, has had me out here for three moons looking for you. She begged me to give you safe passage across these lands. I hope you're going to tell me what's so important about you and your friend. Let's go. A 
I told them not to send word to you. Owen has always been her own woman. I have such a woman myself. I dare say she rules my lands as much as I do, even if she lets me believe otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> to good women. Why do you not join us, Murden? A man who does not drink only arouses suspicion. What is it that has stolen your taste for mead? I have been schooled as a beacon of the two. My dawn. friend has too much a taste for the mead. One drop and will not be able to control him. A wild man. So, do I aid the man that would overthrow the king? No. You aid the man who would free him from the druid Abathal. Abathal? I was by the king's side when Abathal came into his favor. The druid is perhaps too rooted in the old ways. But the king always valued his counsel greatly. The king ails now. The toils of battle are upon him. Abathal alone controls our forces and he guides them to their deaths. He is in league with the Saxons. No. He cannot be. He worships a dark icon. I have seen it. He prays for our defeat. We could use your metal, or in ours is a worthy quest. <sighs> I withdrew my pledge to the king years ago. Alwyn knows that. These were once my finest warriors, but we are now simple hunters. I fight only for my lands and people. I do not like the news that you bring. But I must let Abathal do his worst. The Saxons will be no worse overlords than the Romans were. And what will the lives of you and your people be worth if you alone among the Celts survive? Do you sing? Uh, I am a very fine singer. <laughs> I am a very fine singer. What song inspires you the most? Songs of my father's. A battle. Please. The <laughs> cry went out. The lands had fallen, and all the Celts did rise with chests of fire. Stop. What do you hear? I hear nothing. Precisely. This is what will happen to our songs if our people are overrun. We are more than just flesh and blood. More than land. The spirits of our ancestors are in our songs. The skill of our craftsmen is in our blades and in your arrowheads. The beauty of our women is in the poetry of the men who love them. And all of this will die too. The songs you sing. The people that you sing about. They will become nothing more than, than history, myths. And then they will be forgotten and lost forever. I need to stop Abathon, not just to save life and land, but to save everything. There is only one fight. Fight it with me. And you say you do not want to be king. Will you pledge your metal to King Vortigan again? No. I wish I could. Your words have won my heart. Truly they are. But it is too late. There they are! I'm so very sorry. You are betrayed, Arthur.
He offered me riches, Arthur. A future for... for my people. He wants to watch. Nothing of killing. You said you would take them to Dina Safaron, to the king! Step back. Abathal has spoken! Friend or foe, no cows should die alone. You will soon pass to the other side. And no one will be peaceful with you and your ancestors. No, not me. I have died in the service of the druid. My soul is sacrificed for other folk. It will feed the dark god he summons. What god? <laughs> Who does he summon? He calls it to the well of Anon, beneath the stronghold. The gateway to the underworld. I don't know what god it is, but I have heard Lucan. He calls it the stealer of souls. I'm afraid. Wizard. Nidin. Apathal is powerful indeed. 
to have hidden his intent from my visions. But I know now why he lusts so for sacrifice. It is said that the offering of 10,000 souls will raise a god from the underworld. This is what Abathor means to do. It's why he has killed so many. It's why he guides the Celtic forces to slaughter. What god? Hafgan. The soul stealer. The most fearsome of all the dark gods that fight the forces of light in the underworld. Abathol believes if he raises him, Afghan will be at his command. It's such a power, the Saxons. Abathol is not in league with the Saxons. He does not mean to be on the winning side. He means to be the winning side. You were right. That is why the sword spoke to you. Why it led you to me. Man's darkest hour is upon us. Know this, warrior. Those Abathor has taken from us, those he has sacrificed in pursuit of his dark purpose, those souls are not free. Your friends, my Mother, the druid has sent them to Hafgan. We must destroy this god to set them free. I swear to you, we will stop this. As will we. You have opened my eyes, friend. My niece has chosen well. Whatever your quest end, we will follow. I pledge my medal to you, Arthur Le Cornwall. We march to Dinos Aferon? No. We charge. must commit to the sword. We know now why it was given to you, made by gods to kill gods. It can slay Afghan. It can free those souls from his grip. It is the sword's destiny, but you know its bearer has a destiny also. I fear the two destinies cannot be separated. They must be achieved together or not at all. I mean to free my king, not to usurp him. Nothing will change that. Then we will fail. Come. I'm out for rest. Thank you. Mm. 
against intruding. Now you dare to disturb him again in these his darkest hours. We have lost a mighty battle. The king grieves for his men. You slaughter our people. You worship the dark gods. He doesn't even hear you anymore. Do you, you old fool? <laughs> it is time. Afghan is almost sated. There is a part for you to play. On my face. On what terms did you part the king's service? No. We did not come to blows. As such. But I'm sure the king will receive me warmly should I make my presence known. And do so. We must make our entrance by other means. Whether Vanon is beneath the stronghold, there is an entrance to the cave at the foot of the rock face. And let us go straight to the heart of this. Hello there, friend. Who approaches? I am Ori, of Elfail. I come to pledge my soul to the king. I know of you. You retreated to your lands, withdrew your pledge. I did? Ah. Uh -huh. But I changed my mind. Magical runes to light the way here, was it? <laughs> what did you see? A surging fire. See now what we must fight. The sword brought us together for this purpose. For it and its bearer to fulfill its destiny. I will defeat this druid and this dark god. But no more. Close your mind to your destiny. You know not what we might find. You must be prepared for anything. Seems I must. No one can stop Abathol. It is over. And I have waited a long time for this. I'm sorry, warrior. Two against one is not an even match. <laughs> It would seem your wizard wants you dead as much as I do. I thought the cave taught you fairness. Well, you taught me fighting.
break the seal. <laughs> you think I'm an ally to Saxon savages? I'm already surrounded by brutes. I have no desire to swap one such master for another. Do not venture too close. Not if you wish to remain of this world. This is the well of Anon. Like many things to do with the old ways, it has been forgotten. But it is still incredibly powerful. A gateway between here and the underworld. One of just a few. Amathor has been in the service of Dina Saffron his entire life. He has had decades to study it and learn its ways. An Afghan will rise through it. Afghan can only rise through the will of Anon. It is the only gateway through which a god may pass. From the underworld to here. You cannot do this. You will not succeed. Will I not? With a little help from you. Sweet old women. Afghan's rise will be unstoppable. Unless he is struck down by Noada. Afghan must feel the sword's metal. If he does, he will banish him to the underworld. Free the souls of your friends, my mother, and all the other cults that have fallen to Abathor's lust of sacrifice. But if you fail to land the blow, Afghan will lay waste to all that remains of the Celtic nation, and perhaps the entire world of men. Thank you. For being so clear, you are most welcome. Come, we must hurry. Shin Katawenu Kra Bakta Shanko Fritzo Afghan rises. Do not fear, you will play your part soon enough. Now I need Lucan. Where is he? Lucan will not be in attendance. Show yourself to me. I should have killed you when you were a runt. And you should be glad of this second chance. Oh, oh. What is this place? I thought the king should see with his own eyes. Uncle! Put down your weapons! There will be no blood spilt on the soil of our home. If you lower your weapons, I will cast you down that well into the underworld for all eternity. Avatar, this is insolence! I told your men to... Oh, my king! It is futile to try and help. This life is now mine to take when I please. As I crush the king's beating heart, so will I crush all that come before me. Saxon and Celt alike, all will fall. True order will be restored. Druids will be strong again. Powerful. And soon all will worship my dark gods. And they'll do it at my feet. At the feet of the man who commands Afghan. You've seen this before, boy. Now, watch again. As I robbed you of your mother, so will I rob the Celts of their father.
is one final offering of fresh blood. I could simply draw it from your arm. I think I'll take it from your thumb. Do you try to bend my mind? <laughs> Look at you! You're not ready for such enchantment. That's right, my friend. You should stop, stop this now. now. dead lie in eternal torment with Afghan. The only way that we can set them free is if we raise him and slay him. What if you fail? We will not fail. my life in battle, but you cannot save me now. You remember? I'm glad I have no wits about a 
as I die. Why can't you have saved many battles? You will survive this one. Even in banishment, you did not give up trying to save me. The whole kingdom was against you. Just imagine what you can do with a whole kingdom behind you all this time without an end. A perfect choice stood before my eyes. My king will live. No, my king. There is no point in delay. I can't, I'm not ready. We are never ready. Remember? The only chance we have to reach our true potential is when we rise to the challenges that life throws at us. <laughs> 